Hi guys, Bushua and welcome back to my channel. This is a video that I have wanted to make for a really long time and although this video was never asked of me, I always felt like had I run into a video like this uh, a couple of years ago, it probably would have saved me a lot of grief and a couple of steps on my journey as well as some money spent on some ivory things. At the base of basic color pairing regarding you and your wardrobe, there is the difference between warm and cool colors and whichever undertone you have to your skin dictate which colors are going to suit you the best by far. And I am a cool tone person and all of these tips is something that I have thought about personally in regards to my own wardrobe so for that reason this video is gonna focus on cool toned people wondering if there's anything they can do to sort of invite that warm look back into their look and their style and incorporate it. It's way more common for me to see that people with a cool undertone are longing for warm colors rather than the other way around. First and foremost, I want to say that as a cool toned person, you can't commit to a warm toned wardrobe without throwing your natural beauty completely off of balance. So I do recommend that you give into your undertone. However, there are definitely things that you can do to create the illusion of a much warmer look. In my experience, there are two reasons for wanting to dress in warmer colors or being attracted to these more warmer looks. And the first of them is definitely just liking the warmer colors. And the other reason has less to do with the actual warm colors and just enjoying them as is, and has more to do with these feelings and emotions that warmness radiates. Because color definitely does invoke uh, emotions and associations, whether that be naturally or culturally. A natural color association is, for example, how we often associate blue with the sky and the ocean. And a cultural association is, for example, how we often associate pink with girliness or femininity. And warm colors often feel more inviting and soft and nurturing. All of these traits that are already great traits on their own, but are also traits that are often heavily associated with femininity. Where on the other side, cooler colors might often be associated with coolness, seem less inviting, more sleek and more severe, and can inherently feel more masculine and androgynous. But as a woman who has adopted a cool toned wardrobe, there are a few things that I do and some things that I could be doing to invite that warmness and that soft energy back into my wardrobe and my style. So some of these tips I'm already following myself or incorporated into my wardrobe and a few other of them, it's not really for me, but I wanted to include them in case that some of you lot will find them helpful because we are all so different. Part of longing for a warmer wardrobe has absolutely nothing to do with uh, the emotions they invoke and has more to do just with the fact that you are enjoying the colors. Some colors appear warm but are cold so will still look great on you. These are colors like a cool tan as opposed to a honey. It's a, a stone or a cool beige and then it's also a cool brown. These are some great neutrals that even though they are actually cold, it is inherently warm colors and so they will invite that softness and just a warm feeling back into your wardrobe. Something like beige is a really beautiful color and I think it's also been a become a really popular neutral. A lot of people are wearing beige and it's also a really good pick for summer because where white, which is also a, a great pick for cool toned people, is obviously very hard to get dirty. With beige it's a little bit harder, but just be sure that when you pick beige as part of your summer wardrobe or your wardrobe at all, to pick the cool toned version because it's just gonna go so much more beautifully with anything else in your cool toned wardrobe and it's still gonna give off that exact same uh, appearance that the more regularly used warm beige is. My next tip is one that I'm using and it's a little bit more severe and that is changing your jewelry from silver to gold. This probably isn't gonna be for everyone because there is definitely a pretty heavy truth to the fact that silver will just look better on people with a cool undertone to their skin and gold with warm people. 
but as a person again who has adopted a fully cool toned wardrobe switching from silver to gold just brings back in the balance that my wardrobe needed i feel like with silver everything was getting a little bit too cold and i'm not saying that necessarily a universal truth but for me i was really missing that warmness and jewelry doesn't take up a lot of space of your outfit so for me that has been the right choice so the past couple of years i've been investing in some really nice gold pieces and i still have my nice silver things so if i ever end up wanting to switch between them i can do that and then there's another point which is that not all gold is equal i will say when it comes to yellow gold one yellow gold is really yellow and another one is way more toned down and I do have a little bit of both, but I really try my best to go for the more toned down gold pieces, especially closer to my face, whether that be a necklace or my earrings. The next thing you can do as a cool tone person to bring some more warmness into your wardrobe is changing your accessories from black to brown. Well, maybe your accessories already aren't black, but it's in my experience, people with cool tone wardrobes tends to go for black accessories. And by the way, with accessories, I mean bags and, and shoes. Brown is a really good option, especially if you're a cool tone person with a more uh, tendency to a more bohemian style or softer style. Adding a cool toned brown, that's a really good choice for you, whether that be your boots or your sandals or your bags. My next tip is not a style tip, it is a beauty tip, but I do like to throw these in when I find them relevant. I used to work as a professional makeup artist for a number of years, and it's also here I first got introduced to cool versus warm color because it's really important when it comes to makeup. And one of the things I use to warm my look up daily is using a bronzer. Now, depending what you're comfortable with, there are both cool and uh, warm bronzers and a cool bronzer is also going to warm you up. It's a little bit more appropriate for if you're also contouring a little bit. But even though I'm a cool toned person, I do use a warm toned bronzer. I just use it very, very sparingly, but it just brings back that glow and that sun-kissed look to my face and I'm quite pale, so it can't be too much, but just that little bit just makes me feel like um, a healthy glow and softness has been restored to my appearance. Along the same lines in the makeup apartment, a brown eyeshadow, whether it be a tan or a darker, also can bring some warmness into your look if you don't go too dark. And now I'm going to go a little bit more into the tips that are more about uh, awaking emotions or bringing the feelings into your cool toned wardrobe that a warm toned or that warm colors bring to a warm toned wardrobe. Often rather than the colors, these are the qualities that we are looking to add to our wardrobe and this is what I'm gonna get into. One of the first and most obvious way you can invite these more warm, soft and feminine touches to your wardrobe is incorporating styles that are often inherently feminine. So anything that's a little bit more romantic looking, whether that is floral prints, ruffles, skirts, dresses, and on top of that, more flowy pieces with less structure is also gonna seem softer and more inviting. Anything that becomes more structured and more tailored starts seeming a little bit more on the the severe side or will inherently look a little bit more masculine. Something I like to do is to mix all these things because I definitely don't have a 100% feminine style. There is a little bit of masculinity or just severeness to it and mixing them all together works really well for me. The next thing of the sorts is also just a short beauty tip as well and that is adding something pink or a rosy to your cheeks or your lips is also just gonna look a little bit more done, look a little bit makeup-y and just make you look a little bit more warm. The next thing you can also do here is more in terms of romantic and more feminine colors. Something I did last year to add a softer and more feminine touch to uh, my otherwise uh, pretty modern and severe wardrobe, if I do say so myself, is to add pink. I know it's a cliche and actually the color pink hasn't always been associated with girliness, but 
it definitely widely is now and in my mind as well and to me i feel like it really softens my look whenever i add a pink rather than just a, a crisp white or a blue which is some other colors that i really enjoy and wear a lot so whenever i'm in the mood i will use a pink to sort of just soften my look. For me, that's been the right amount of balance because when it comes to something like prints, I'm usually not into the more traditional female styles. I'm not really into a floral. I'm not into too many ruffles. So having these still more androgynous or a little bit structured pieces or just classic pieces, but then being able to add them in pink is just been a great balance for me. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like so that I know. And if you have the first time and not already subscribed to my channel, then you should consider doing so because in that case, I would love to keep you around. Thanks for watching and farewell.